Hello and welcome for this first soap review that you decide what soap to review here on the channel. Um, I have a little the results of the voting here after one day and um, it seems that uh, what the face vintage barber will be the first soap out with five votes and the sterling executive man got three votes so it will be the next one and marvy soap got set, got two votes and razor rock soap commander sadsy soapery southern witchcraft and ladder bros and esbjerg got one vote each uh, so i will start with um, what the face uh, vintage barber shop here I have uh, had one of uh, Donald's uh, soaps before and it was an excellent soap. This one have um, not so many ingredients and they are a good one, every one of them. Chia butter and tallow. It says that it can be a very very slick soap. Uh, there is no essential oils though, it's fragrance oils. Um, this soap, uh, the scent notes uh, is uh, according to the website a woody mirror fragrance with a touch of lavender, clove leaf and patchouli and sweet musk. I almost didn't want to open this one. I think this paper wrapping is very very nice but it has to go unfortunately. And here is the soap itself. Uh, if you buy this soap, it only costs um, thirteen dollars for four ounces, uh, and I think it's in the tub as well. I don't know why this one is the paper, but the scent of this one is uh, the scent notes I just described. But for me, it's lavender. I can feel here. It's a warm, sweet. Or creamy scent of lavender and sweetness here a medium strong but very very nice scent indeed I'm going to put it in uh, my old tops shaving bowl here this one just contained uh, Sterling Island Man that I have enjoyed a lot of videos Sterling makes excellent soaps as well and I wash this out properly so there is no scent left here. We will put this soap in here. It fits almost here. Let's see with the lid on if it's... No, it doesn't fit. Okay, it has to do anyway. Uh, this... Um, Voting for uh, soaps, uh, it continues all the time, so you can just go to that video, check it out, what soaps I have, and you can uh, request for any soap there. I will, uh, I get notification every time someone uh, give a comment, so I will keep track on it. So please do that, because remember I do this for you out there. You are my Orleans, my little Orleans, and uh, I don't do this for myself, I don't benefit anything from it I do it for you and I am always honest in my opinions and I think I have the experience to, to give advice to what soaps to avoid so uh, here we go we're gonna shave first we're gonna lather with this satin tip synthetic brush one of my absolute favorite brushes and we will perform the shave with the Mercury Futur, with the green Gillette 7 o'clock, new blade in here. And that's more or less what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna wet my face here. I was a little bit surprised that um, what the face got most votes. It's a soap I don't see too much in the other YouTube videos but it's an excellent choice 
wet the brush here a little bit. Let's see what we can do about this. I will load it a little bit more than I usually do because I don't know the soap. It's a hard puck, it's very very hard. And it's not been used before either, so... We do this together for the first time here. Now we're gonna add the water. And in no time you have a nice ladder here. The sand is uh, medium strong. Warm and sweet sand. Got a nice face feel to it as well. Here we go. The marker Futur. Very nice glide and this razor and this blade works perfectly together. First pass down. Very nice. 
nice first pass. It's gonna work it in a little bit in the stumbles left here on the knife. And the ladder holding up. Check for the residual here. Yeah, it's okay. It's about medium so far. Let's see if the residual gets a bit faster on the third path. See how much so we got left here. Yeah, you can see for yourself that the ladder has no problem with dissipating anything. It's a perfect ladder, very, very good.
I would say that the residual of this lap soap is not uh, enormous. It's a medium slick residual slickness in the soap. There is a very, very good glide though. There is no problem with that at all. And I didn't have a too pastry leather either. It was quite well. It was actually completely perfect. This shaver is so good. You own one knows exactly what I'm talking about. With this one and the Fatip Grande you get as close as BB as you can get with the D shaver. See if we have some soap left here. Try to catch the last stubborn stubble here. Very good. I'm gonna rinse back for the post, some witch hazel. So what can we say about this soap? Well, you saw for yourself. It was a very, very nice ladder, very easy to create, a very good ladder. And uh, the glide was uh, really good. And the residual slickness uh, was uh, medium not more uh, but the glide was was there absolutely and um, the scent of this one whatever a barber shop scent is uh, because there are so many variation with it but uh, uh, i like this one it's a creamy uh, little bit sweet not overly sweet scent of lavender that i can detect most of it here Maybe some patchouli as well, but it's a very, very nice, uh, warm, friendly scent indeed. So um, this is a good soap, no question about it. Um, 13 bucks for four ounces, it's a very good price for you Americans, so buy it, don't hesitate. Some EDT will be the verse of today, because it's Monday and I don't have any else to do. So. Thank you so much for watching, but um, please continue vote for next soap uh, on my previous videos. And maybe it's the soap that just you want to see reviewed that coming up there. Thank you so much for watching. Take care out there. See you. Bye bye.